In this video, we will examine the chronicle of the hot French cuisine that has been developed in the Palace of Versailles until the French Revolution in 1789. So, do not forget to ring the bell and subscribe, foodie eyes. We are starting right away. Until the beginning of the 16th century, French cooking was unpretentious, basic and quite simple as in England. In fact, we can start talking about food in terms of a culture that leads to our time from the year 1533, the year in which the Duke of Orleans was married to Caterina de Medici of the well-known Florentine family. She took with her many famous chefs and confectioners from Italy, of which the French began to develop their cooking schools and promote the art of cooking. Towards the end of the 17th century, France was already known in the world in its classic cuisine. The menu evolved over a variety of dishes and fresh products. An attractive display of dishes has become inevitable. The combination of mixed flavors and dishes that fit together were the leading line in the new menu. At the beginning of the century, most of the cooks in France have become aware of the fresh vegetables issue in cooking. During the reign of Louis XIV, whose great affection was known for fresh and cooked vegetables, sweets and pastries, and his chefs has developed the marzipan and the preparations of jams. The development of cooking in the palace of Louis XIV presents in a number of cookbooks which were written, and best known is Cuisinier Francais, written in the year 1659 by François de la Varenne. It was the first constitutive text of modern French cuisine. In the 16th century, La Varenne broke up from Italian traditions that revolutionized French cooking in the Middle Ages. La Varenne was a centerpiece of the group of French chefs who wrote for a professional audience and created a codification of French cuisine during the reign of Louis XIV, the King of France. In the 17th century, there was a culinary revolution that brought French gastronomy into modern times. The heavily spiced flavors of medieval cuisine were abounded in favor of the natural flavors of food, and the exotic spices were replaced with local herbs, new vegetables like cauliflower, asparagus, peas, cucumber, and artichokes have entered the menu. Special attention was given for the cooking of meat and preserve its original taste. Vegetables should have been fresh and soft. The fish, with the improvement of transport, had to be completely fresh. The cooking had to respect the sense of taste and the appearance of the ingredients instead of hiding them as they had in the past. La Varenne's work was the first to refer the significant culinary innovations in France in the 17th century, when the method, in accordance with the rules and principles, he introduced the first bisque crab and the bechamel sauce. He replaced the breadcrumbs with roux as a base for the sauces, and the pig fat in butter. And here you can find the first use in terms of bokeh grani, axis and reduction, and egg protein for clarification. It also contains the earliest recipe found in writing for Kremschnitt. Its mention of a fragrant asparagus sauce is evidence of an early form of hollandaise sauce. It was the first book to try to make order in rules and cooking rules. The 
the cooking for Louis XIV was more beautiful than refined. A large number of dishes were served at the king's dinner, which was known for its gluttony rather than its gourmet taste. In any case, Louis XIV instituted the custom of serving portions separately. Before his time, it was customary to place all the food in a pyramid at the center of the table. One sauce was famous, bechamel sauce, in the name of his finance minister Louis de Bechamel, who in addition managed a list of menus and catalogued them. The reign of Louis XV is considered the golden age of French cuisine. Farmers began to produce high-quality foods and in large quantities and the famine that was a permanent guest disappeared. Great chefs competed with each other in creating imaginative dishes. The basic fluids and their ability to improve sauces were discovered. Mayonnaise dressing appears on the table of the Marshal de Richelieu. Goose liver pâté decorated with truffles became famous in Nicolas François Douane's recipes, chef of the first president of the Parliament of Bordeaux. Premier service pour Monseigneur le Dauphin. During the reign of Louis XVI, French chefs continued to refine the culinary methods and create menus for celebrations and meals. The conduct of the Palace of Versailles included breakfasts and lunch and dinner ceremonies every night, which was attended by tens and hundreds of diners. The vast kitchen that expanded and grew parallel to the expansion of the palace employed more than 2,000 workers, chefs and cooks. The kitchen was built outside the palace itself as a factory next to the vegetable gardens, the goat pen, cow shed and the chicken coop. It is important to mention that this kitchen had a huge bakery, a slaughterhouse and dairy, huge ovens, a vast winery and a huge room where ice was stored. The ice brought from the Swiss Alps by hundreds of workers who were engaged in transporting huge rocks of ice to the royal palace. The ice was used to cool the drinks and the sophisticated dishes that required cooling in an era of which an electric refrigerator was beyond imagination. Unfortunately, the kitchen itself was destroyed in the 19th century. On the next chapter, we will see what has become from that huge system of royalty kitchens. So subscribe Foodie Eyes and get the best food history videos on your main screen. Thanks for watching, see you on the next.